So Rob, it's a big moment. Finally, he's going to power E. Yeah. He's going to power on. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? <laughs> Not many people would be doing this, I'm telling you. He, he does it on his own. Not that hard to watch how to videos on how to solder. But I'm sure guys would send this out. Not with Kay, he fixes him. I love it. I know, not Kay, he gets it done instead of waiting. That's, I'd open this, look at it, put it back together. And the... Well, that's the whole point. Kay wants to get it done. He doesn't want to wait forever, right? I don't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a digital console from 2006. Sometimes these, deal, sometimes these moves don't work, honestly. Sometimes, sometimes it's a bust. What do you mean? You fixing it? Yeah, sometimes you f*** it up when you're trying to fix it and you eat shit. This is going to be part of the inventory, Rob. Even you could turn this on and start mixing it. I mean, I basically got the board for free, and the only thing wrong with it is these two broken knobs, and the faders are all dead. So a couple hundred dollars worth of faders, two cents or whatever for those knobs, they, they cost nothing. I'll have this thing back up to 100% by the end of the day, and then it's a free console for... It's a $700 console, we'll say, for the faders. This used to be a $7,000 console, and in all honesty, it's just as functional now as it was then. Oh, yeah. It's not like it's any worse. No. It certainly doesn't sound worse. I mean, the compressors. That's yeah, got that Yamaha so. crunch. <laughs> Yamaha I, crunch. I'm joking. Yamaha sterile is like what everyone says. Like me. Let's see. Uh... Oh, this is about 4 million screws you got to take apart to do this. And then you got to try to keep track. And, I mean, I should write it down, but I, I don't need to. It's pretty obvious what screws go where. I'll say. Kay would do this with a Digico. <laughs> he would do it with yeah. SD5. He yeah, would. Uh, uh, I don't even want to put that on film because if only you knew what was going on under the hood of the SD10, I, I, think, uh, I think I'd get a lot less rentals. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> it's bad gaff no, tape. Mean, get... Duct tape. Oh, nah, just kidding. That. Just kidding. Oh, I'm joking. It's like a surgeon, dude. Yeah. Things like this, you got to know no. Don't rip me. This has to come out soon. And then you got to not pull on things. And... Fish that through the black. Don't, don't rip me. Look, here's the broken knobs. Oh, yeah. I gotta get to them. They're here to be unsoldered. I gotta get this PCB out, and then I gotta bust out the soldering iron. Oh no. Get the solder sucker. That's where people would get scared. That's where they would get scared to solder. solder. Yeah, they'd be like, fuck that. No, Who do they wires. think fixes it if they send it in? <laughs> A person. It's not like it goes into some computerized machine. It's just somebody that knows how to do it. And you just learn to do it yourself. Keep track of those screws, boy. There's a ton of you. We're looking for the dill. I mean the uh, solder sucker. Where is he? He's got to be here. Even... He's got to be in here. It should have been in this drawer. It's probably in the tea box. Yep. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. No comment. Oh, man. <laughs> Feel my solder sucker. <laughs> These are the tools you need to uh, fix an LS9. Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> here, here, couple cents right there. Dollar. To fix him, you gotta order all of this. It looks like hundreds worth. Whoa! Yeah, that's different. These are fossils in here. Wow! <laughs> it's gotta be like piece. Whoa! So look, the guy lost one of the knobs. So here, we needed that one little gray knob. Right, and then two of these, and then a little bit of know-how. Let's use common sense. It's gonna soldery. Right, here's the broken knob. I see two little silver tabs. I see this little clip on the side, three in the back there. It must be that. Oh. Yep, and then it's this one over here. Hopefully these other ones aren't hanging on by a thread. <laughs> they feel pretty good, just these two. So there, it's just this one and that one. I've done this before, you know. I know, I've done, I've helped him. You know why? Mm -hmm. I had my M7CL years ago. The stagehands were putting the lid on it and they missed. Oh, and then at the oh. next gig, they didn't tell me that they did it. And of course, we didn't have the board on a gig until like <coughs> a couple weeks later. And as soon as we flipped it on the easy tilt, it sounded like chicklets rolling around. <laughs> uh, and as soon as I heard the sound, I was like, it sounded oh, like man. chicklets rolling around. I was like, what is that? And we opened it up and all kinds of knobs were broken off. Nice and solid. He's in. Clicking. Right, you don't want it to fall out, so it's mm. in there. Now you take a new thing of solder, touch it. Just 
That's one. Gotta have steady hands, Rob. I'd be shaking like a... Well, I'm shaking, but it doesn't shake when I'm touching it. You know what I'm saying? This is probably the hardest part is making sure that those three right there don't accidentally melt into the other one. Make sure that they're not touching so I can't. No, wait. You're on... You're on that one. You're on that one. Okay. This is done. Oh, he did the screen just like that? I go to the bathroom and he's done. It is. Ah, oh, here's the tough part, the this faders. The tough part. Well, it's the meticulous, annoying part. Not really. You're changing all of E? Every one. Whoa. There's like, they're, they're all bad anyway. I mean, this is the one thing. I mean, you gotta think of it. Like. This is a full refresh he's doing here, folks. Full refresh. Yeah, how much can go wrong in here? You know what I mean? Right. As long as all these components still work, they're gonna likely keep working. The only thing that goes bad is the thing that moves the faders. Oh, but you gotta take off all those boards to get to E. Wow, it's eight screws. <laughs> Eight screws and then the thing just picks up. So you gotta know how to do things like this. Like, there we go. It was just biting it. He's fighting it. It's opened. It's done. Uh. Here, get this thing out of here. There. Nice. Done. Oh wait, do you have to meticulously take every screw out of each fader? That's the tough part. Yes, you do. That is the tough part. It's not, it's not tough. It's just time consuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just do it. All right, here. You don't got a drilly? I don't use a drill on things like this. You'll strip it. Oh. I mean, they can be fixed, but I'm, I'm not going that far. Like, just give me new ones. You know, I think you can actually open them up, clean them out, and there's like a little rubber band thing in there, and you just change that, you're good. But you know, like, just, just give me new ones. The fingers are out. I'm putting the new ones on, and then I'm going to... They have this like locking mechanism thing that makes it easy to solder them back in and I'll put it back on. Okay, put that away. <laughs> yeah, you you put that away. It's out on the work table. <laughs> God, that thing is sick. That thing is sick. A sick man. Sick mine. You. Look at how idiotic he looks. What? He looks <laughs> no, that's safety first. <laughs> I know, not safety first. <laughs> Look at him. That's like the thing uh, Michael J. Fox wears in Back to the Future when he scares him in his room. Uh, four hours later. Nah, he's he's been going quick. Look at him. He's going he's going quick with the dildo. I mean the uh, the sucker. Is the joke gonna get older than you? Do we still know if it works or we don't know yet? I'm going to put them on, and then I'm going to go through the fader test. And it should say, all good. It shouldn't say any that are NG. Oh, my God. The suspense is killing me, dude. This is a free LS9, everyone. All right, here we go. Did K fix it. Grooney's throwing up in a garbage can somewhere looking at this. Oh, yeah. It says put them all to minus 20. I'm doing that. Read the instructions. Testing them, folks. Here we go. Are you kidding him? He got it? See that, folks? With a little elbow grease, you get him. You don't have to send him out. He's back. I'm gonna find where I missed the. Well, it's not fully done. I'm gonna put the knobs back on and find where I missed this. We didn't test the encoders that I fixed. I'm gonna test that now. It's close to being done. I just need the card back. Their drum racks are motorcycle frames. <coughs> Here, let's see, because this was the big thing. Did I fix the encoder? Woo, look at that, he's working. Hey, did he? What about this one? This was the other broke one. He's all, yeah, he's there. He's not a little anything, he's working fine. Thank uh, you. He's there. They all work. All right, what do you know? What? Knob life, dude. And then what's this? Knob life is That's back. Working. If there's one thing I could tell your audience out there, it's that this board's the shit. 
And I don't care what anyone says. Real Yamaha is reliable, dude. Workhorses. This little repairing shit. How old is this board? This is nothing. I, I could have still, even without doing what I had to do here, I could have taken, I could have taken this board on a gig and got through. Yeah, you're right. A lot of other brands, I can't say that about when they need work. <laughs> Did you go? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. New videos weekly. You're gonna try to do two in a week from now on. In case you didn't notice, there was two LS9s over here, and this guy took care of them both over here. He's doing a test right now. What's going on over here? Where did you find this Why one? Why did you touch oh, it? Oh, that was an accident. Total random accident. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to come back tell me fair one's bad. <laughs> I was about to say, where'd you find this one? In a tanning bed?